Hello and congratulations on the purchase of your 2018 Luna 6x10.5. My name is Russ. I'm going to do a little orientation with you today. Uh, we're going to start right here in the front. Right behind this panel here that says Luna is your propane tanks. You just remove the pins there. This panel comes down and then you have access to your tank. You do have some stickers right under there that gives you some information. I don't know if you can see them in the video. Once you pick up, you'll be able to see those. Uh, it just gives you information on your weights, uh, your tire pressure. Tire pressure is 50 PSI. You have your manual tongue jack there. Light right up there, which you turn on and off from a switch inside. Nice tinted window in the front. Go around the side here, another light. And then right here is where your power source is. So you're going to plug your cord in there. This is your cord right here. 30 amp service so just plug that in plug it into your power source uh, highly recommend to use a surge protector 30 amp surge protector uh, if you're plugged in at any park uh, there are a lot of surges that go through there um, just to protect your investment right below that this is just a vent it's gonna be for your battery over here you have a plug for a solar panel so if you have a portable solar panel just plug that in right there uh, it will trickle charge your battery Next to that, this is an input for cable or satellite. So some parks have cable service, just plug it in there, you can watch cable from inside. And then next to that, you have one of your two stabilizers. There is a tool to crank that down with. Um, so you're gonna put those down after you level. If you're not sure how to level, what you're gonna do is you're gonna get into your spot. If you need to go up on either side, whichever side's lower, you're gonna put a block underneath the tire and that's gonna level it from side to side. And then level it the long ways, you're gonna use your tongue jack to raise or lower it as you need to. So once you're level, then you put your stabilizers down, crank them down to hit the ground, and then give it another turn so they're nice and tight. You just don't wanna lift the camper up with them. You could break them. But you give it another turn, turn and a half, you'll be fine. Right back here is your outdoor kitchen. You have a couple speakers up top which you turn on and off from inside. Right here, this is your control panel. So you have your water pump. Your water pump is used when you're using your fresh water tank for rustic camping. If you're using your city water connection, if you're doing full hookup camping, you will not use your water pump. That's only if you're using your fresh water tank. And then right here, you have a tank heater. So your fresh water tank has a heater around it. So if you're doing some late season camping, you can turn that on help to keep your water from freezing on you. You have a couple light switches here. One of them will turn that purple light on. The other one is gonna be for the light above us. And then right here you'll see where it says battery and fresh. This is for your battery, obviously. You push that and it's gonna show how full your battery is. And then your fresh water tank, it's currently empty. Those lights will light up as it fills. Right below that is your stove top. Just lift the lid up. You're going to put this on light. Make sure your propane is turned on. And then you're going to push this button down until it lights up, just like a grill. Make sure you put this lid down before you travel. That will break. You do have a fire extinguisher in here. Next to that, you have a little bit of storage. Of course, your sink. You can use it as a sprayer if you want. And then your standard turntable microwave. You do need to be plugged in for this to work. And then next to that you have a GFI reset outlet. Under your sink is your battery. Um, I currently have my battery a little power hooked up to it because the battery is not new. You will have a new battery if you uh, bought the starter kit. Uh, you'll have a brand new Deep Cycle Marine battery in there. Right there is your water pump. And connected to your water pump is this hose right here. This hose is used if you're going to be winterizing. So this, the end of this hose is going to go into an antifreeze bucket. You're going to turn that valve, turn your water pump on, and this will draw the antifreeze right up into the camper. And then all you do is turn on faucet until antifreeze comes out. It is turned right now, so if I turn the water pump on, I will get suction through here. So when you're using the camper, you're actually going to want to turn it like that. Right, that's everything underneath there. 
you do have your cooler here nice cooler your controls right here so you just power it on it does run off the battery can't see it very well probably a lot of light but you're just going to push the set button and then you can set your temperature to whatever you want all right and this just slides right back in there just like that and that is your outdoor kitchen go around to the side here right behind this little door here this is where your water is so you're going to fill your fresh water tank from here so just take a hose fill that up you can see how full your tank is by pushing the button there watch it as it fills and then once it's full you can turn your water pump on you'll have water pressure if you're full hookup camping this is where you're going to hook your pressured water hose to and then you'll have water pressure that way you will not use your water pump if you have a hose hooked to here only use the water pump from the tank right and if you need to empty that fresh water tank right down here you'll see your spare tire next to that I don't know if you can see it is your fresh water drain another light on this side you do have latches for both your doors so that latch is going to connect right in here if you want to keep your door open so the wind doesn't blow it shut. So we'll head inside real quick. So right inside here, right inside the door are some light switches. Um, you have your main lights, you have the light right outside the door, and then you have those purple lights in the very front of the camper. Above that is your thermostat. So you're going to push mode. There's your fan speeds. You can adjust your fan speeds. I push mode again. There's your air conditioner. And then there's your heat. And you're going to run heat through your heat pump. And then off again. So just push mode till you get to what you want. And then set your temperature. If you push the up and down arrow at the same time, it will go to Celsius. So if that happens, just do that again. Unless you're Canadian or something and you understand what Celsius is. Uh, I'm not smart enough for that and you do need to be plugged in for your air to work above that you have a carbon monoxide detector you have another little detector right here that's for propane a couple speakers over there spot for your TV HDMI cord plugs you do have an antenna booster right here so be sure that light is on if you want to watch local channels Otherwise, if you're watching cable or satellite, you'll want to turn that off. You have an inverter right here. So you have some plugs here. Run off your battery. And then your fuses and your breakers are here. Might want to grab some extra fuses. There are not any extra fuses in here. So it looks like 15s and 40. All right. And then your air conditioner and your heat pump are here. And then your stereo above that. So you do have three speaker zones, and you're gonna find those right here. You just push zone, there's zone A, zone B, and zone C. Now if you wanna turn a zone off, you just turn the volume all the way down on that zone. But zone A and B are inside, zone C is on the outdoor kitchen. This is a Bluetooth stereo, CD player, all right over here you have a control for your fan so just push the power button there we go so your fan is opening up it does run off 12 volt and then i can adjust my fan speeds point it right at it I can change the direction of the fan if I want to and I can go on auto mode and actually set a temperature this is the actual temperature you can set the temperature so it reaches that temperature it will open up and start up automatically but you do need to point this right at the fan or it's not gonna work right 
These switches, showed you those, main light, and then the light right outside the door there. You also have a couple lights up here. There's buttons for those. Blue light, push it, blue light, hold it in. It's a white light, push it again, it's off. So blue light, hold that in and off. Plug here, GFI. You also have USB ports there. Storage down here. Tried to put the storage wherever they could in here. There's a couple remotes. And this has not been prepped or cleaned yet, so if there's something that not in here that's supposed to be, it will be wet by the time you pick it up, and it will be cleaned by the time you pick it up. So we're going to move some of these cushions out of the way, because you do have a little bit of storage under here. Same with on that side over there. So there is some storage in here. Your windows, you're just going to twist those open. And then you have your blinds here. And that is your camper. Not a whole lot to it, but just enough what you need. Very nice camper. So again, congratulations. And we'll see you when you pick up.